and gentlemen, I think I have to congratulate you all. First of all, being part of uh, the Yoruba Heritage uh, Association of Australia. Does anyone know the significance of today? Can anyone tell us the significance of today? The significance of today. No one. Well, you have to congratulate yourself because Yoruba, Yoruba Cultural Heritage is 20 years old. We are 20 years old. 20 years old. And I know many of you have contributed significantly to the development of this association. It has come a long, long way. The, as the birth of this association came in 1995 at the Oloni's House, Pa Oloni's House. And officially, it was launched in 2000, uh, in uh, 19, early 1996, where late Ifeadi Oba became the first chairman of this association. There are a lot of people that have contributed to this organization up to today. And we know that this organization, we grow. There are a lot of foundation members here tonight. <laughs> Professor Kola Wale is one of the member, foundation member. Mrs. Ifeadioba, Mrs. Ayo Oyekomi. Actually, she was uh, the, the, second, uh, the third secretary of this association. And one thing that I want us to understand very clearly is we need documentation. On my right here, we have the ex-chairperson, Gola Ogushola, was also a chairman of Yoruba Heritage Club. Actually, it used to be Yoruba Heritage Association of Australia. But we have to be very, very careful in the path we are, we are taking now. Because I remember very well Paula Ogushola took a stand when we started, when the Yoruba Cultural Association started confusion and enforcing the association for two years as a sign of punishment because it took a stand at that time, which in fact helped the association to grow today. And many of you, I can remember very well, uh, many of them are not here today, many of them have passed on. Nevertheless, I have to thank every one of you for contributing to the development of this organization, including uh, Mr. Ogudeji. Mr. Ogudeji was also a treasurer of the organization. We have come a long way and we have taken a very good path. Having said that, good things are yet to happen to this organization because the population is growing. Yoruba is a dynamic 
group of people. We are part of Nigeria, and Nigeria is part of us. And we contribute significantly to the development of Nigeria. So also, the development of Nigerian society in Australia. The most stable organization so far in, uh, in Australia here is in Victoria. So we have to congratulate ourselves for being what we are. Even though many of us are you know, facing some, uh, we're getting older, if I put it that way. But we're still here to support the organization because the organization never died, but only the people that died. Look at this evening, we saw the, the young ones. They are learning the language. In which the language classes we started in uh, 1994. But that's to show that it's the people that passed on, but the organization still remains. So my uh, piece of advice to the current executive, because they've started on the uh, good frame, frame, framework, consultation is very important, having a focus is very important and communication. Because if you communicate to the members and you recognize, no matter how little, each, every member has contributed, they, they, you will get more and they will pa participate more. So, ladies and gentlemen, I thank you and you have to thank yourself for being part of this new development. The executives, I thank you for inviting me. And I want to say to you that I will ever be in support of whatever you do. Thank you very much.